There's fire stinking everywhere. Thanks, Wheatley. Oh, it does look good, though, doesn't it? Wow. That GLaDOS is about to be a baked potato. Wonder how... Oh, ow, it hurts. Ow. There's fire coming from the ceiling. Why is fire falling from up there at me? It's literally coming out of thin air. Hello everyone, my name is ASTF. Welcome back to Wheatley's Unscientific Tests. We are in part three. Oh boy, molten core warnings. Doesn't look good. Oh, oh hi, hi there Wheatley. How are you doing? I did not expect to look up and see Wheatley's face gigantic spanning multiple displays. Oh dear. Test part three. Um, we Hmm. Sorry, sorry, my fault. Everything is your fault, Wheatley. You don't have to say it. Do Carry we just on. Do we just walk across? Is that is that is not real fire? Oh, it's real fire. Okay, well, oh. Your fingers. Oh, I see. Carry I didn't on. see that before. Can we put out fire with water? That's so cool. But also I want to I want to go. Okay, so we need to put an orange portal down. So that we can go back into blue. No, don't. I want to see what's over there. There's a door that we can not open. Can we make it? No, we can't make it. There's nothing high enough for us to jump off of. Oh, wait, there is. We can get up here? Probably we can get up here. No, and I am doing jump crouch, so... Can't quite make it up there. Oh, that's frustrating. I want to know if that door's real. All right. No, they're fake. They just have push bars to fake us out. So disappointing. We'll just move on. The doors are fake. They had some lighting outages. Okay. What are we... Are we even in the test now? I don't... It's probably nothing. Keep testing while I look for a way out. It's really unsettling seeing Wheatley up there looking at us. We could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm aware. I, I am aware of that thing. Oh, that was really disorienting. Okay. So we came from there. And we're going... Here? Do we need a cube? We can get a cube. I guess we'll just keep going down this way. Why not, right? That I'm assuming needs to point this way. That feels right. Then we go up here. Put blue back. Put orange. Oh, what? What was that? That was nothing! That was nothing! Uh, okay. Well, I wouldn't say it was nothing. Did something break back there. The test is on fire now. That's not good. Oh. The body he's squatting in, my body, has a built-in euphoric response to testing. Eventually, you build up a resistance to it. It can get a little unbearable, unless you have the mental capacity to push past it. it he does not have the, the mental capacity Him for it. Okay, so we need to get back up here. Oh, how do we get back up there? Let's see. Okay, we're up here. I don't... Oh, the door opened. So we need to put water out that way. Is there an option for that? Can we see the water from here? We can't. Okay, we do... We have to put orange down here now. That puts water out on that side. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm assuming this is the way we need to go. I feel like I'm missing out on so many more things in the tests. Hmm. Hmm. Was, was self-destructing already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor for old time's sake. I know nope. uh, one or two more tremors in there just for fun. Warning. Core overheating. I then keep his job. I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying then. Just keep on testing. Will do. There's fire stinking everywhere. Thanks, Wheatley. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? Wow. That GLaDOS is about to be a baked potato. Wonder how Oh ow, it hurts. Ow! There's fire coming from the ceiling! Why is fire falling from up there at me? It's literally coming out of thin air! 
We at least figured out how to materialize plasma into thin air. Brutal, okay. We have water here. Let's just put water everywhere we can. No fire, please. Excuse me, <laughs> Wheatley. Water's supposed to put out fire. What have you done? This is terrible. It's tragic. Alright, what about this? There's no putting out this one. It is... That is lava. There's no putting it out with a little bit of water. Okay. Well, we're kind of... There are turrets that will probably shoot us. This replaces that beam. This gives us a cube. That's good. Oh, it's a walking cube. It's not, not as good. And now we can get... I don't even know where to go now. We can get up there. Let's see what happens. Now, I was hoping I could jump over this to this side without touching the fire. Yes. Now, is that guy going to crawl off of there? Do we have to flip him over? Oh, interesting. Okay, he's not going anywhere, so this is fine. Now, we have this laser coming out, but I don't know where we need to put it. There's not really anything in here that needs a laser. Oh, we can shoot portals through this. I totally forgot about that. Okay, so... We might need to use that out here somewhere. Maybe I don't need that laser. Maybe this is just a way to get this cube through. Okay, we're up here with the cube. I think... We can turn that to a pole now and use it to get the other cube. Maybe I can go up here for a second. Let me go up here, and then I'll go back over this way. We can go where the water is. We can pull in a whole bunch of water, maybe. So that'll be full of water if we go through with it. Then we can go to the other side, push that button to fizzle this guy and drop a new one, which turns it into a push, and we can put out all that fire. Let's do that, because I think we, it would help us to have an, another place we could walk through. If we change it to a push, right when we fire blue here, that should give us the most water. Alright, it was enough that now we can walk through here. So now... Oh, they can shoot that high, too? Hmm. Okay. Well, that was an idea. We can use the faith plate to catch that if this guy is pushing the other way. So if we put this guy here, then we can put it here, and then now we can catch the cube and hopefully not get shot by those guys. Although, I don't know. I feel like we're still going to get shot by those guys. Oh, maybe once we catch the cube, we can hide behind it. New plan. Actually catch the cube. And then hide behind it. There we go. Okay, now we're out of their range. This is great. Now we put this here. That's the hint. And we'll just see what happens when we shine the laser in the right spot. No. Don't put your legs out. Just stay. Thank you. Okay, great. Good job. Very nice. Did I miss? Wow, we weren't off by much. Okay, but that still doesn't help us with the turrets that are going to shoot us like crazy when we go over there. So what do we do about that? This says burn them with the laser, but how do we do that? Oh, we can point this. I guess we could do something like this. And then burn them from here. Ow! Could burn me from here. Okay, that's a much cleaner solution than we had, honestly. But now... Now we need to do it again. But how do we get over there now? How do we set this up? To get the laser to shine. What does that button do? 
Oh, man. I don't know what that button does. I think we should get over there and try it. That's so frustrating, though. Because it takes so long for us to get over there and try it. I thought we were going to die for sure right there. Okay. We can get to here. Now this... Aha! I'm so glad I left this yes, in the right you spot. Solved it, but I'm wondering if maybe there's a number of ways to solve them, and you're picking all the worst ways. I need the other cube. No, no, that was the solution. Ah, what am I missing? I need the other cube too. I should have known that I would need both cubes because there's a button over there. I just didn't. I just didn't know what it was going to do. We have a cube. We have the other cube set up now. Oh, don't land in the fire pit, please. That's good. We put blue, and then we put orange. It opens the door, and we walk through. Whew. Man, that was brutal. That was like, that could go really fast if you know the order to do things in, but you don't really know what to do until you're already there. Um, do I just leap of faith into that thing? That seems dangerous. Is there an easier way to get in? There is, okay, yep. Glad I looked. Might as well, you know, give you the tour. Um, oh good, thanks. Hey, can you disable this laser field that's gonna kill me, please? To your left, you'll see some lights. Yep, some kind. good. They do. Um, they're very sciencey anyway. Oh, I got it. Don't worry about it, Wheatley. It's fine. Uh, it's all good. That turret didn't even shoot me. Those ones would've. Okay. This is fine. The music's really quiet, though. Okay. We made it. We're good. Sorry about the lift. It's out of service. Because it melted. Okay. Is this... I guess this is a lift. Do what you're gonna do, GLaDOS. I can't recommend killing anything or anyone. But it is a robot. You could put him to sleep indefinitely. Wow, it keeps going. These tests are long. This is really cool. Was this in the original game? I feel like there wasn't a room like this. This feels very Blapature Mesa. Oh, glad I came in here. I was gonna go up to the door and hope that it opened. And instead, we accidentally found the lever that opens the door. That's perfect. How about another? Crashing's too good for him. First, he'll spend a year in the incinerator. Year two, cryogenic refrigeration. We're authorized personnel, right? GLaDOS, can I go in there, please? In the chamber I built where all the robots scream at you. Then I'll kill him. Oh, that's exciting. I think he made a lot of flamethrowers. A lot of flamethrowers. I didn't even know you could have that many flamethrowers. Okay, we can go there and, uh... Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility immediately. Here. Hmm, I don't know if I want to go here. Yeah, okay. This is fine. I just did a blind leap and assumed we needed to go that way. Seemed like the right way to go. Morning. Oxygen? I don't want to have limited oxygen. That's so stressful. Everyone hold your breath. <gasps> it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. 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 Do we need to climb a lift? Do we need to shoot up out of here? How do we do? Excuse me. This? Oh, no way. Someone spilled portal paint in the big office over there? Nah. That's terrible. Come on. Okay. Well, at least we have somewhere to go now. Alright, how do we get up to the second floor now? That's the question. This door, maybe? Okay. There's a door. Good. I'm expecting fire to come out of nowhere. Oh, we just made it over to here. This whole time, I thought I was looking for somewhere to launch from. Oh, here we go. So we can get up here now. Where is a portal surface? They couldn't have given us an easier to access portal surface. I don't even know where I am anymore. Wait, it's not actually on fire. It's just sort of on fire. Okay, now we're higher up here. 
Let's put one. I think I need to go over there. Well, that doesn't help at all. Is there another portal surface? Through the flames that I need to see somehow. Oh, we can get to this staircase now. Okay. We're making progress. We're getting there. Wait, so we didn't need to use this floor at all. Or maybe at the very start Explosion we did? Explosion imminent. Evacuate the facility immediately. Okay, now we're looking for a water source. Or we just need to launch out of that real hard. Try that. <laughs> That's not it. If orange is still inside, then we probably can fling up to the second floor. Okay, now we're on the second floor where there's a hole in it. That's death. We can go into there now. This is like what you don't want to do in a burning building with a portal gun. Okay, here's just tons of turrets. Oh. That's helpful. We can't get through there? Oh, we can go through there. We can go under this beam. Observation room? Maybe. Let's take care of as many turrets as we can first. And then we're gonna need to fling up there. Oh, my O2 is low. Oxygen restored. Good timing. You got it. I don't know about that though. Maybe there's something out here, but we were just out there. Like, there's no way to launch from here, right? There's no places to put a portal out here. There is a place to put a portal out here. No way we need to go all the way back to there. We would have been walking around for 10 years trying to find that if I didn't just say, well, I might as well look around. That's crazy. Nah, there's no way. He put it way back over there. Nah, I don't like it. Okay, we just got through to floor three. This one, I don't know what to do now. Is there something up here? Oh, man, there's just random stuff in the middle of nowhere. And I get it, yes, if the facility was breaking, that's how it would actually seem. But that doesn't mean you need to put it in your tests with no indicators. This is supposed to be an enjoyable video game experience. Okay, now we can get over there. Okay, what is this saying? Go here? What does this do? Nothing. What does this do? Oh, it turned this around so we can get back easily. Okay, then fling out of there. Oh! Finally, we have water! I understand what to do now. We fling here. We fly out this way, and then we go put orange here, and walk through, then we put blue here. Okay, this is done. Now... Now what? Now we have blue on a water source, so we go back through the entire burning building and put out as many flames as we can see? Is that... Is that what we're playing now? Yes, this is it. Now we can walk around and flip the switch so we can fling out. Boy, it's much easier when you can put out the fires and there's conveniently placed panels all over the place. Is that a portal surface? Okay, I think that's the last that we need of the water. So we can go through now and just walk around to turn on this panel that some employee stubbornly forgot to flip. 
I have literally never seen this style of wall cover before in my life until we needed it just now. Now, we need to go back over to here. Now we need to go back. Really? He blocked? He blocked this handrail so that you can't jump down? He could have easily made it so you can jump down, but no, he made it so you have to portal back around instead. He literally put an invisible wall here specifically so you can't jump down and you have to walk all the way back through the fiery maze instead. Keep out. Ooh, what is this? I don't even... There's nothing here. This is just... It's just a room that does nothing. Lovely. Now we do big old jump. I think this is it. Thank goodness. Is this railing gonna break and all that was for nothing? Wheatley's gonna pop out of the middle of nowhere. Oh my goodness, that was brutal. End this level. I hope this is the end. Oh. This is a cool looking room. It has turrets though. Hang on, I gotta take a screenshot of this. This is cool. It's so dark looking too. Uh The death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird in that first time I said that out loud. It sounds a bit, bit, sounds a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair. Deadly lair. Okay. Oh, I did find something, though. Reminds me. I've got a big surprise for you two. Seriously, look forward to it. You two are going to love this big surprise. In fact, you might say you're going to love it to death. Nope. I'm going to go the other way, Wheelie. Until, you, until it kills you. you I'm going to see what's up over here <laughs> instead <laughs> right, of, I don't know of your stinking surprise. You're, uh, you're picking up on what I'm saying there, but... All right. Yes, thanks. We get it. Yep. Yep, Wheatley, you're not very clever. So, move on. We'll see what you have in store. Thank you guys for coming on by. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to keep up to date with what we're doing on the channel. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.